Hello and welcome to week 14 of College Football Predictions. My name is Seidel and once again I'll be predicting some of the big games this week. And because I'm only predicting a few games in this video, I'll have the rest of my predictions in the comments below. So you can go check that out if you're interested. I think we have a lot of good games this week, so let's just get into it starting with the 5th ranked 6-1 Texas A&M Aggies taking on the 22nd ranked 5-3 Auburn Tigers. Texas a and is coming off of a 5 game win streak and a win over LSU 20-7. And Auburn's coming off of a big loss from Alabama, 42-13. Texas A&M's offense has been explosive this year, averaging 31 points, almost 400, 420 yards per game. And QB Kellen Mond having a great season with 16 touchdowns, only two interceptions on the year. Auburn's offense hasn't been bad either, averaging 26 points, almost 400 yards per game. But I'm going to take the Aggies' defense, and especially their rush defense, only allowing 87 yards per game. They do allow quite a few passing yards with 240, but they only allow 22 points a game on average to Auburn's 24 points allowed per game on average. I'm going with the Aggies on this one. I think it's going to be a pretty close one, but I'm going to go 31-24 over the Tigers. And now we have the 7-2, 13th ranked Iowa State Cyclones taking on the 5-3 West Virginia Mountaineers. West Virginia is coming off of a win over TCU 24-6, and Iowa State's coming off of a big win over Texas 23-20 which makes a four-game win streak for the Cyclones. Both offenses have been fantastic this year, with West Virginia averaging 29 points to the Cyclones' 33 points a game, both of them averaging around 440 yards per game as well. I do think the Mountaineers have a bit of a better defense, though, only allowing 274 yards and 17 points to the Cyclones' 23 uh, points and 346 yards on average per game. Even though the Mountaineers, I think, have a bit of a better defense, I think the Cyclones have the edge on offense, uh, and I think they're able to pull out the wins where West Virginia wasn't able to. I'm going to go with the Cyclones on this one, 27-24. I think it's going to be a close one, but I'm going to go with the Cyclones. And now we have the 23rd ranked 6-2 Oklahoma State Cowboys taking on the 4-4 TCU Horned Frogs. Oklahoma State's coming off of a shootout win over Texas Tech, 50-44, to and TCU is coming off of a big win over Kansas, 59-23. to Both of these teams have, have been really similar uh, statistically this season, both of them averaging 28 points on offense, and with Oklahoma State averaging 406 yards to the TCU's 390 yards per game. Both defenses have averaged around the same amount of points as well, TCU allowing 26 points to Oklahoma State's 24 uh, and, T and TCU only allowing 355 yards to Oklahoma State's 375 yards allowed per game. Even though they've both been really similar statistically, Oklahoma State's been able to get the wins where TCU hasn't been able to. I, I think that changes today. I'm going to go with the upset. I'm going to say TCU wins and a bit of a shootout, 31-30 to over the Cowboys. And now we have a big game between the 12th ranked 5-1 Indiana Hoosers and the 16th ranked 2-1 Wisconsin Badgers. Indiana's coming off of a win over Maryland, 27-11. Wisconsin's come, their last game against Minnesota was canceled, so they've still only played three games this season. Uh, Indiana's offense had been fantastic, though, averaging 32 points, almost 33, 381 yards per game. And Wisconsin, even though they've played three games this season, they're averaging 33 points, 421 yards per game. And their defense has done even better, only allowing 233 yards and 11 points on average a game. Indiana's defense has also been fantastic, only allowing 21 points, 365 yards per game. Wisconsin's only three games hasn't been against the best of competition. Uh, I'm going to go with Indiana, even though their QB did get hurt in the last game against Maryland in the final few minutes. Not entirely sure if he's going to play in this one. I'm still going to go with Indiana, though, even with the uncertainty of the QB. I'm going to go 21-18 over the Badgers. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to post your predictions in the comments below. And feel free to subscribe if you enjoyed this video, but thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.